Hi everyone, it's uh, Reggie from Silent Systems. Just want to give you guys a quick demo of our new DD TV app. This app was developed based on Kodi 16, so fully stable. It's been tested since the day that Kodi 16 came out. It is backwards compatible and forwards compatible with any uh, official or third party add on uh, that is accessible through Kodi. We'll start off here in the My Zone where all your favorites are. You can of course add or remove these at any time based on uh, how you're using it. it. Makes it very quick to give you one click access to the content you watch the most. You have access directly in your My Zone to your Android apps as well. So you can access your Gmail account, your Facebook account, Instagram, uh, YouTube, pretty much anything that you have on your device that you have access to uh, directly from the app. So you don't have to leave uh, DDTV to get to them. Full access to your weather, of course, which you can change in the settings section, 10-day uh, forecast, um, pretty much anything you need. All your video add-ons are here as well. We power DDTV using approximately 114 add-ons. Tons of different ones here of every genre. If you go to the very bottom and the back end, you'll have access to another 700 plus add-ons as well, which you can install or uninstall at any time. Also future-proofs the device. Um, DDTV will of course uh, auto update uh, all the add-ons as it would on uh, on Kodi, so very very similar in terms of how they work. In the movie section, uh, we filled up somewhere in the neighborhood of twenty to twenty-five different add-on sources, so you'll never run out of content. Most of them are simple one-click, meaning as soon as you pick what you're looking for based on the category. One click on it, and remember if you've watched it before, you can start from the beginning if you choose to as well. One click, it'll look for it. As soon as it finds it, you'll see the wheel turn on the top left, and it'll start playing automatically. There's never a need for you to uh, search for a link anymore. I'm gonna forward this 10 minutes through. As you can see, quickly up and running. And that goes to every single one of these add-ons. Uh, any that do not have that function, uh, we generally will go into the add-on. For instance, Exodus is very popular and enable those functions for you. So if I went into latest episodes, for instance, it'll populate everything from tomorrow, today, and the last three or four days directly onto here. And as mentioned, if it doesn't have one-click uh, capacity, we will actually teach uh, or, or go into each add-on and enable the autoplay function so that they automatically play everything for you by searching for the best link possible and playing it by default. For instance, as soon as this pops up right now, I'll scroll down to, uh, let's see, which episode we can look at here. Let's go with uh, Battle Call Saul. Let's click that one right there. What I'll do right now, the box will pop up where it will Start searching through, and it'll give you a progress bar as well. It'll also show you all the different providers that it's looking through, and it'll categorize everything according to um, quality and whether it's playable, and it'll test each one individually. It'll go through one by one, assuming one of the first ones do not work. It'll go to the second one and the third and so on and so forth until it finds the best one for you. And this should kick in right away. There's the first one it tries. It looks like it found a copy. Scrolly wheel on the left, and off it plays. I'll forward this a half hour through. It just jumps, starts, plays. Pretty simple. Not much you have to do, uh, except look for what you're looking for, and uh, it'll automatically start playing it for you. Just going to switch back here. Uh, and again, same thing. As the movie section, there's between 20 and 25 different possible video add-on sources. So tons to look for. Sports section, all the recorded sports are here of every genre possible. Uh, every type of sport you can think of is all under here. Uh, live sports, great feeds uh, all the way from actual sports stations themselves. Uh, for instance, really popular right now for all you motocross fans. Uh, Fox Sports 1, of course, carries all your supercross and motocross real quickly up it pops 
If you're looking for specific sports, for instance, NHL playoffs are going on right now. Jump in the NHL streams. Um, the Blackhawk game should be on. There's an HD feed, medium uh, quality and standard def as well. I'll play the HD feed right away. Off it is. Looks like they're going into intermission. Uh, same idea, basketball playoffs are on right now as well. I'm gonna jump into the post sports section. Look for the NBA feed. Get down to the Warriors game right now. I think they are at halftime uh, based on what time it is. Jump into one of the feeds and we'll have a quick check. And again, it'll find a feed for you. There it is. Looks like they're cut up. They're only down by eight now. Go Warriors. Uh, same idea with Live TV. Although uh, the system wasn't designed for live content, there is a lot of live content out there, as I've just shown you uh, for sports. Uh, tons of live content for TV as well. Uh, C Cloud is a fairly popular uh, group. You can go in for live content. They categorize everything for you. Uh, they've got a great search function as well. So if you're looking for something for a particular country, you could do that as well, a particular genre. Uh, or you could just go into uh, you know the news section, for instance, if you wanted to look for news. You can look for feeds from all around the world in every single language. Find something you're looking for, click on it, let it search for it. If it's there, it'll play it, and that's it. Tons of Canadian content here as well, recorded and... Uh, live so you're looking at some feeds unfortunately it's not a huge amount of, uh, of live content for instance if i want to watch global vancouver it is available in hd so it's global toronto just like so up and running uh, if i was looking for recorded feeds there's tons for instance uh, global does have a recorded feed section as well from across the country I'm in Edmonton uh, because there's no live Global Edmonton. I can still search, however, for the latest news by going to the latest local video, and it'll break down the news for me as well. So I can watch certain functions of it, or if I wanted to, I could just go directly to the full news hour as well and check it out. Uh, tons of foreign uh, content as well. Uh, there are a lot of large groups, like the Arabic group, uh, French, East Indian, uh, Italian, Polish, Portuguese groups. Huge, huge uh, amount of live feeds that they put out in their respective regions uh, that's still available on here. Uh, kids Zone, tons of stuff for kids, from box sets to cartoons, uh, Disney collections, uh, Disney originals, you name it, uh, kids movies. So tons and tons of stuff uh, that you'd be looking for. Uh, if you just love cartoons uh, or if the kids uh, are looking at something to watch. Pretty much anything you can think of is available directly off this uh, section. Uh, a lot of great videos here as well. I've got TV shows of an 80s kid. You've got your A-Team, uh, MacGyver, uh, Miami Vice. Uh, I've got tons of documentaries on here as well and gadget feeds, GQ, uh, tons of movie trailers, TED Talks. Uh, in the music section as well, lots and lots of content from concerts, um, you name it, in terms of genre of concerts, it'll be available uh, on here. And this is just one of the concert sections. As you can tell, there's uh, on the top right, it says 355 items, so 355 different concerts you can look through. Every radio station, um, music video, you've got 24-7 Top 40, 24-7 R&B. Uh, 24 7 country you can go through as well so pretty neat if you just want to have music playing in the background uh, in terms of maintenance i've made it very very simple one click on the maintenance function uh, you can clear your cache here you can purge your packages here as well so within five to ten seconds i can clear everything that i need to on here and it's done you can do that once a week once a month really doesn't matter um, most devices nowadays, if you've got a fairly decent one, uh, won't require you to clear cache as often. Um, you can reload the skin directly on here as well if you find any glitches within the build itself. Uh, we've also got built in the DDTV updater that allow you to update this app at any time uh, to the latest version. So it will be updated very, very often. 
and uh, anytime an old add-on uh, or a non-working add-on uh, comes up, we'll remove it and add any of the new ones that come up as well. So uh, it's always up to date. As you can see, everything runs. Um, not a single portion of it uh, is old anymore. It's completely updated. So um, that's her. That's a DDTV uh, custom media player app. Again, fully loaded, uh, fully compatible with Kodi and all its add-ons. If you want to add more things to it, you can. There's an installer, a browser, and a file manager here, just like you normally would have with Kodi. And uh, if you're looking for more information on it, please go to silentsystems.ca. That's silent with a T, systems with an S at the end, dot C-A, silentsystems.ca. And if you have any questions, you can reach us to our toll-free number, one 990 or uh, email sales at silentsystems.ca. We'll be happy to give you a hand. Thanks for watching the video. We will chat with you shortly. Take care.